tranquil swim in the wilderness escalated into a desperate battle for survival when Sarah Matthews, a 32-year-old wildlife photographer from Seattle, found herself at the mercy of a swift current, originally setting out to capture the stunning autumnal beauty of Alaska's Denali National Park. Sarah had planned a week-long solo expedition, armed with her trusted camera and a backpack filled with essentials. The crisp autumn air had invigorated her as she followed well-trodden paths. Surrounded by a mosaic of reds and golds that adorned the trees in a breathtaking farewell to summer, on one of these serene evenings, as the sun began to dip below the horizon, Sarah decided to make camp near a gently flowing stream. While attempting to refill her water bottles, she spotted a seemingly stable flat rock a short distance into the stream. However, the rock was deceitfully slick with algae, and as she stepped onto it, her foot slipped, sending her tumbling into the icy waters. The calm stream quickly revealed its hidden strength as the current grabbed hold of Sarah, pulling her away from the safety of the bank. Panic set in as she was dragged beneath the surface, her waterlogged backpack adding to the peril by pulling her deeper into the abyss. As she fought her way back to the surface, gasping for air, the reality of her dire situation struck her with full force. The shore was alarmingly far away, and the relentless current dragged her further into the isolated wilderness. Despite her extensive outdoor experience, the raw power of nature made her skills seem insignificant. The chilling water sapped her strength with each second she remained immersed. Remembering her wilderness survival training, Sarah tried to remain calm, fully aware that hypothermia was a significant threat and every moment in the water could be lethal. Help, somebody please, she cried out. Her voice hoarse and barely audible above the roar of the stream, her instincts pushed her to continue shouting, although she knew the chances of being heard in the expansive wilderness were slim. Meanwhile, her once essential backpack had become a deadly weight, its contents saturated and heavy, anchoring her down. As the current swept her around a bend, her numb fingers trembled as she fumbled with the straps, trying desperately to shed the burdensome load. She knew she had to act quickly if she was to survive this unexpected test of endurance. Her fight for life in the stunning yet merciless Alaskan wilderness was far from over. Struggling against the restraints, Sarah fought to free herself from the river's unrelenting grip. As she caught sight of a large, half-submerged log ahead in the rushing river, she summoned the remains of her energy in a desperate bid to reach it, despite the river's powerful current fighting against her every move. Sarah pushed forward her fingers finally grazing the rough bark of the log, clinging to this makeshift sanctuary. She paused to catch her breath, taking a moment to grasp the gravity of her situation. There she was, alive but precariously perched in the middle of the rushing river, surveying her surroundings. It became painfully clear that the current had carried her far from her familiar campsite, with her teeth chattering from the cold and her limbs shaking. Sarah understood she needed to act swiftly, gripping the log, she realized that she was all alone in the vast Alaskan wilderness, drifting further from safety with each passing second, and nightfall was rapidly approaching, trying to calm her racing mind. Sarah recalled the wilderness survival classes she had attended years ago, desperately searching for any relevant tidbits that might help. Think, Sarah, think, she urged herself, her voice barely audible over the river's roar. The possibility of signaling for help seemed futile without supplies and attempting to swim to shore in the dark was too perilous, her only choice seemed to be to scream for help, hoping against hope that someone might hear her, just as she was about to yell, a sharp, wooden crack pierced the air, sending chills down her spine, to her horror, she realized the source of the noise, hairline fractures were rapidly spreading across the log, the wood groaning under the relentless pressure of the river, no, 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 Sarah whispered, her heart pounding so fiercely she could feel it throbbing in her throat, the very log that had offered her a brief respite was now beginning to betray her, splintering right before her eyes. Panic, which she had managed to stave off until now, overwhelmed her like a tidal wave. Her breathing turned rapid and shallow as her mind raced through increasingly desperate scenarios, with another sickening crack. A large piece of the log tore away, disappearing into the frothy, churning water. Sarah's precarious perch shifted violently, nearly throwing her back into the icy currents. She scrambled to maintain her grip, her numb fingers scrabbling against the log's rugged surface. Help, she screamed into the twilight, her voice echoing futilely across the river, knowing the odds of being heard were slim. The massive creature, however, seemed disinterested in the humans and instead focused on the river. Its eyes fixed on Sarah struggling in the water, 
Despite the shock of seeing such a formidable animal up close, the group's attention quickly returned to Sarah, the bear's presence momentarily forgotten. They renewed their efforts to save her, the lifeguard, thinking quickly, spotted a long, sturdy branch a little way downstream. He directed the others to help him retrieve it, hoping it could extend far enough to reach Sarah. Dragging the branch to the river's edge, they positioned it carefully. Leaning it out over the swift moving water, hold on to this, the lifeguard yelled, his voice carrying over the roaring river as he extended the branch towards Sarah. Her hands, numbed by the cold water, fumbled at first, but she managed to grasp it tightly. The hikers pulled with all their might, their muscles straining under the effort as they slowly drew Sarah back towards the bank, just as she reached the edge, where the water was shallower. The bear, which had been watching the scene unfold, let out a deep, rumbling growl. Startled, the group managed to haul Sarah out of the water, her body shaking from the cold and exertion, as Sarah lay on the riverbank, coughing and gasping for breath. The bear quietly retreated back into the forest, as mysteriously as it had appeared. The hikers wrapped Sarah in their coats and blankets, trying to warm her, their hearts pounding from the rescue and the unexpected encounter with the wild animal. In the aftermath, as they waited for emergency services to arrive, the group reflected on the day's events, it was a stark reminder of nature's unpredictable power and beauty, and how, in moments of crisis, the will to survive can ignite extraordinary chains of help and courage, in the dense, shadowy embrace of the forest. The eyes of a dark-coated bear fixated on a woman struggling desperately in the river, oh my god, no, exclaimed one of the onlookers, her voice choked with horror as her hands flew to cover her mouth, it's going to attack her, she cried out. The group of hikers stood frozen, a cocktail of terror and disbelief seizing their bodies as they observed the bear's measured approach towards the hapless woman. The bear's presence was commanding. Its movements deliberate as it navigated through the underbrush to the river's edge. Canadian bears, such as this one, were notorious for their formidable strength and fierce demeanor. The very notion of this wild beast confronting Sarah, who was already in peril, filled the onlookers with a profound sense of dread. We have to do something, implored another hiker, his voice laced with urgency and fear. We can't just let it attack her. As the bear plunged into the river with a purposeful dive, the hiker's paralysis deepened. Intervening directly was out of the question. Not only would it be perilous, but it could also provoke the bear further, endangering everyone involved. The thought of attempting to deter a charging bear was overwhelmingly frightening. The tense observers held their breath as the bear swiftly closed the distance to the struggling woman. Their hearts thudded violently against their chests as they prepared themselves for a horrific outcome. Sarah, caught in the grips of terror, could only focus on the looming threat. The bear's notorious reputation flashed through her mind as she envisioned the deadly potential of its powerful jaws. No, stay back. She screamed with a voice raw with desperation. Please, don't hurt me. In the river, Sarah thrashed about frantically. Her arms flailing in a vain attempt to escape the impending danger, panic overwhelmed her senses rendering her movements erratic and her thoughts scrambled. When the bear finally reached her and gently gripped the collar of her jacket in its teeth, Sarah's terror escalated to a blood-curdling scream. She kicked and clawed at the bear, her nails scraping its muzzle as she fought with the last reserves of her strength. Let me go, leave me alone, she cried out, her pleas muffled by her sobs. The hikers on the shore watched in stunned silence, convinced they were about to witness a gruesome scene. Their hearts pounded with fear as they saw Sarah's desperate attempts to escape the bear's grasp. Even as the bear reached the shore and gently set her down on the ground, the tension among the hikers remained palpable, their minds racing with the unfolding drama. Sarah's fear did not wane even for a moment. Panic-stricken, she scrambled backward, her wide eyes scanning the environment in a frantic search for an escape route, not truly believing the bear meant no harm. Stay away from me, she cried out, her voice quivering with fear. Don't come any closer, her entire body was trembling uncontrollably as she felt her heart thundering against her chest, the sound almost deafening in her ears while she braced herself for what she feared might be a deadly encounter. Her mind whirled with terrifying thoughts of what the enormous creature could potentially do to her, unexpectedly, however, the bear simply turned around without making a sound and lumbered back into the depths of the forest, this left Sarah visibly shaking yet immensely relieved as the other hikers rushed over to comfort her, all of them equally astonished by the turn of events, the group of hikers stood in a stunned silence, trying to comprehend the surreal scene they had just witnessed. They had all heard legendary stories of animals performing acts of bravery, 
but witnessing such an act firsthand was something entirely different. The bear, typically perceived with apprehension and misunderstanding, had seemingly gone out of its way to ensure the safety of a human. I can't believe what we just saw, murmured one hiker in a hushed tone, still in disbelief. That bear, it saved her life, added another, her voice laced with awe, as tears formed in her eyes. I've never seen anything like this, it was as if the bear knew exactly what to do, as if it was on a mission to help her, as they attended to Sarah and her companion Shaq, everyone felt a deep sense of reverence and respect for the bear that had emerged from the wilderness to become an unlikely hero, the moment was etched in their memories, a profound testament to the complex and often unpredictable interactions between humans and the natural world, with assistance from the hikers. Sarah was helped to her feet, though every movement was a struggle against her stiff, protesting muscles, miraculously, she was alive, thanks to the most improbable of saviors, as she took her first tentative steps toward getting help, Sarah was certain this extraordinary experience would stay with her forever, upon reaching the nearest hospital, Sarah was diagnosed with mild hypothermia and kept under observation overnight, physically, she appeared relatively unscathed but the medical staff was concerned about possible oxygen deprivation she might have suffered, as she repeatedly spoke of being saved by a wild bear, it was only the corroborating accounts from the other hikers that reassured the medical personnel of Sarah's mental clarity, in the days that followed, Sarah's tale of the heroic bear became a poignant reminder of the mysterious and majestic interactions possible between humanity and the vast wilderness. The heartwarming tale of a bear rescue recently swept through the local communities nestled in the mountainous regions, sparking a profound appreciation for the area's native wildlife. News of this astonishing incident traveled swiftly among the quaint mountain towns, capturing the imaginations of the residents who have coexisted with these majestic creatures for generations. Upon hearing of the incident, authorities were promptly alerted and launched a detailed investigation to uncover more about the bear's identity and behaviors. After meticulously gathering evidence and compiling eyewitness testimonies, wildlife experts were able to confirm that the bear belonged to the Cantabrian subspecies, noted for its uniquely protective instincts towards humans in peril. This is truly an extraordinary occurrence, remarked the lead investigator, a veteran wildlife biologist. Although bears typically maintain a distance from humans, this particular bear exhibited an astounding level of empathy and situational awareness. This incident highlights the intricate emotional and cognitive capacities of these animals. For the hikers who witnessed this incredible rescue, the event will remain indelibly imprinted in their memories. It was a transformative encounter that challenged their pre-existing views on bears. I will never see these bears in the same way again. One hiker expressed in awe, on that day, we saw the true nature of a creature we often fear and misunderstand. Observing such a remarkable act of heroism was a privilege, for Sarah, the individual at the heart of this rescue, the experience deeply altered her perception and left an indelible mark on her psyche, the encounter demolished her former assumptions and instilled in her a profound respect and admiration for the Cantabrian bears. Overwhelmed by gratitude towards the extraordinary animal that emerged from the wilderness to save her life, she vowed to dedicate her efforts towards the protection and conservation of these noble beings. This surprising turn of events raises intriguing questions. What would you do if a bear suddenly appeared during a critical, life threatening moment? Has nature ever taken you by surprise in an unexpected way? Please share your experiences in the comments below. Do you have any thoughts after watching the above story? Tell us in the comments section. We'd like to hear your thoughts. That's for today's story, and if you liked the video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you next time.